more controlling side. And right now we are jumping straight into the game of Kaios versus Gigas. This is our loser's semis and the loser will be out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it that bluntly and that dark because they are still playing and they do still have a chance to take it all. We are going to see Fiora Shen into the Scar Grounds deck. I do not know which one should be favored. I would put it slightly favored to the Scar, Scar Grounds deck because you can pop barriers easier with all the damage that you are playing that things, right? damages both your units and theirs. And barriers are going to be out and you also buff your units. So I think it's a win in that regard. It should, it should, be, it should be favored towards the Scar Grounds. However, if you can deny and... And it's already and it's already beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of pressure coming down oh, very yeah, this is, early this for is the insane. Scarborough. He has he has to play he has to play the the two oh my god. Uh the Bright Steel Protector on the on the dragon for so that he'll actually be able to contest, right? Yes, Do and you, that's what he you does. also have the option to play C3 in order to block two minions instead of just one. <laughs> That is also a line you can go, but it seems like we do want our dragon to still be alive. We do not place it. I would go for the protection on it. You do give up the board a little bit by doing this, though, because one of the six trees is going to still be alive if you block it with the free two. You can decide to go and block the five five, but you give it tough instead and bonus attack. It is a very rough de decision that you're going to see, but at the same time, you can just go for the Freshly better to dragon with single combat and remove both the six trees. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible that should he go, he can go for a single combat now, and then after that, take out the six tree, go for the rally, drag out the drag out the the five five, and then re-establish what control there. Yeah, definitely, that's an option. Also, we do have some backup in case things are going to go south into the into the sharp side. If we want to remove one of the units, oh, we go for the concentric so strike instead. So we do want to preserve that is the this. Safer play. That is that is yeah. the that is the safer play in in this case. Hmm. How safe can it be if you see something like a troll chant being played, or if you are not playing around troll chant? No, but the strike the strikes may actually go may actually go like you know badly also. <laughs> so. So this is a safer play, and he still and he still can respond with the with the sharp side in order to in order to actually like so that is definitely dying. The main question is, what is what is Gigas's hand? What does he has? We have what does he not? How many cards does he have in hand? That and a lot of more questions <laughs> are going to be posed to us. So that is that it's is kind of a blind right? playthrough for us as much as of for you guys. And it's going to be interesting what answers he has. And when you have just one hand, it's interesting for casters because we can start speculating and talking a lot of bullshit that might or not might not happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so over here, how would how would Kaios block is that yeah, that's that's ba that's basically how he should block, right? Because either way, he can't. He he's not able to remove the. He's not able to remove the Scarthane Stefan. So over here, wow, three Cithrias in hand. <laughs> uh, is it going to matter though? Like you can buff your units at some point in order to have uh to have your some blockers on a constant basis. It's not going to be a problem. Well, I guess you can constantly trade the C3 into, C into something, into something, but over here the dragon should drag out, should drag out the, the Unscarred Reaver and then, and then kill it, right? Hmm. This, th that, he should swing here, unless, unless that he is actually playing around a second, a second, uh, three sisters, because because even even if even if the dragon actually gets uh what's that gets blocked by eh gets gets damaged he's still he's still not going to die so over here or actually he could go for he could go for the for the five five but I think the four two is easier to beat. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see coming down into the next turns. 
but so far, it seems like both players have enough pressure on their hands, respectively, on their boards in order to start the staring contest. <laughs> yes, they just, just stared on, and and Kais is going to pull the trigger because he knows that if he actually keeps if he actually keeps it any longer, this this stare on is not going to end well for him. He could play for a Bryce till Wincon, but at the same time, you do not have the Bryce in your hand. But you don't know if hand... you are going to draw it. So you give your opponent the opportunity to to go at your face consistently because they do have big units with a lot of attack. Not much survivability in this specific moment, but they do have a lot of attack, so you are going to be constantly threatened to block. Yeah, as we can as we can see here, he's trying to desperately clean the board, and he kind of he kind of succeeded, but none of none of his units is actually able to is actually able to survive, and this is going to be a huge swing turn for for Gigas, and let's see if he's able to close out this game over here. He has ten oh, damage. Starts with. All right. He has the transfusion, but he's not. He'll he'll not be able to play it. He should play the Vlad here. He can go for the Vladimir if he wants, but I think he is missing on a lot of damage. Like this is ten free damage from on Shen Fiora that if they manage to put something on the board, they do have protection for it, and you risk your unit dying. So taking the damage is pretty safe here. If you would have had. One single unit remaining, it could have been the little distance. Unfortunately, it is not, and that gives hope to Kaius. Yeah, this is this is looking super precarious for Kaius because he also he doesn't even run. Uh, oh, he does run two spirits refuge, but none of it is in his hand. So how will Kaius actually respond to this, to this threat that uh, that Gigas has posed? Uh, probably is not going to do much once this C3 is locked to the board, but that gives Gigas the opportunity to go wider than his opponent. He also played a big unit. It it is allowed because once your opponent gave up some tempo, you are allowed to give up give up some tempo yourself. You yeah. still have you are still one unit up. You can still develop wider than they can for now. Oh, this is this is a this is a super tense moment right now. And how how will Kaias actually come, get back in this game? He can actually try to play the Fiora and then maybe drag out drag out the Stefan. At this point it would it would have to be a trade. And and then and then we have and then he has to see he has to try and, and get rid of he has to try and get rid of the Stefan and the and the war and the Vin Mother. This is not this is not looking good for Kaius at all because Scar Mother Vrena actually has overwhelm and if she can and if she can continue to grow. Man, that is going to be... Kais is just going to lose. <laughs> and if it wasn't obvious, Kais is already on a clock and adding more yeah. pressure with an overwhelm unit that can grow is not going to do well to his heart, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what could have happened? He could have tech, he could have tech the judgment inside there and then go and then go in for the go, go in for the Fiora win. Man, I have seen so many <laughs> people playing that weird judgment in Shen Fiora. I don't know if it has a place because you are placing a judgment on a unit that is easily killable once you spend eight mana. Like you need a lot of backup, and your opponent to not have a lot of answers if you want to go for the judgment <laughs> win. No, that's why. That's why you. That's why you only run one, so that so that you tech is is just a tech, and it it becomes a hail mary. If you have it, you have it. If not, then you don't. Yeah, but Let's you see. might want generally better cards in your hand than <laughs> the random judgment. I think you can agree with me on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can I can agree with that. I can agree with that. <sighs> oh, should he he should notify here, right? The So so that he's not able so that he's not able to actually he he still has some semblance of a board. Well, if he goes for the Nopify here, he doesn't do wrong because there are not many targets for the Nopify thing in this deck to begin with. But you can also just go for the removal on, on the Scar Mother Rina and that way you trim the board, you literally just leave one unit open for your opponent. Problem, your opponent has enough damage to finish you off. <laughs> yeah, and with and with the with the addition of Vlad in in the in his in Gigas's hand right now, it's not looking good for <coughs> it's not looking good for Caius. Like cause 
Yeah, not nothing. Nothing in the board will actually stay. It's important that this uh, this Stefan is going to still be alive after the Fiora attack. So you still represent two units on the board. Fiora cannot get her kill, and. On top of that, you still have two more units that you can develop with. And Vladimir might just give you the little, you know, because your opponent... Oh, you we do go for the Nopify now, and we're going to get some damage onto this car, uh, on this Stefan. We also get some damage on this car, Mother Vrina, and we remove her. So, right now, we are still clinging onto our HP. Problem, our opponent has free damage that is going to go face even more if needed. This Single is... combat is... Going to save it? <laughs> no, nah. The thing is, if he plays single combat, right? He, uh, Gigas can just drop a drop a second one, and then, and then you know he will he will just he will end up still losing anyway. So I think that this is checkmate for for Caius, and game one should go to Gigas. But let's see how this plays out and see if Caius is actually able to to wriggle himself out of this one. All right, listen to me. I think you just skip this block if you see. If you see the attack here from uh, from Kai, so just keep the block and then go with your opponent's yeah, face. Yeah, you just you just you just keep the block. You can afford it, unless unless he goes for a relentless pursuit. But that's also at no longer fast. It's slow speed. Yeah, if he goes relentless pursuit, you win. If he goes single combat again, you win. There is no bad situation for you whatsoever. Just a just a stiff breeze is enough. Is it? It's actually enough for Kaios to. For Caius to actually just uh kill, uh, to for Caius to actually just lose here because right now there isn't enough there isn't enough blocks, and he's shot by one, <clears throat> and so yes the first game goes to Gigas, hmm. and so now Gigas will have to play his Fiora Shun. Will we see a Fiora? Will we see a Fiora Shun mirror between between old decks and new decks and see which one is? Which one is actually superior? Are you excited about the Fiora Shen Mirror? That is my question, probably. <laughs> well... Either way, we have to cast it at some point. Well, ho hopefully it's not going... <laughs> hopefully it's not going to happen, not because I want to give a person the advantage or not, but casting a mirror is so painful for both opponents because it is very draw dependent. I think I said it in previous casts, when you are playing a different deck against a very different deck, you at least know what your general game plan is, but you are not draw dependent that much as you are in the mirror because I think the mirror is simply decided at this point where we are seeing so many high level players by the draws you get because they are not inclined to misplay. Yeah, that's true, and especially and especially in the Fiora Russian mirror, as soon as you drop the the formation, that's when you win. So if you, so it becomes it becomes a game of like who can who can draw their bright steel formation first, and on both sides they actually just run. They actually run one of one of each. So let's see who let's see who is luckier. Because I remember there was a game where I played Fiorashian Mirror and you I was it. winning. You jinxed it. Oh, <laughs> Fiorashian no. Mirror. <laughs> okay, so some some notes for this for this mirror is that actually some rule of thumb is that you will not uh you can play stuff on the board, but you will not attack unless unless you actually have higher mana and maybe and or maybe a higher a, a bigger hand size. If not, if not, you're bound to you're actually bound to lose to lose the matchup. Another rule of thumb would be don't freaking brick on your spells. Don't draw <laughs> a bunch of spells and no units because then you just lose. And that is not the case for both players because both players have units available to themselves. The only advantage I think is in uh, Gigas's hand because he has both Shen and Fiora. Yeah, this is. Uh... This is actually looking pretty good for Gigas up until turn nine. It, so so Caius could actually just proceed to slow play a bit. And if and if he has because on turn four he'll probably play down the Shun, he'll play down he'll play down the he'll play on the dragon on five. Like the and moment yeah, Shen is going to come down to the board, the pressure startly shifts into, into your opponent's side because you do have the ability to protect one additional unit. And I think with single combat in hand as well, this is going to be very huge because you can try to threaten one of your units. 
Um, gigas not tapping out of five mana and five mana can mean a lot. Five mana Concert can mean strike. obviously concerted strike. Then you go to denies. Then you go to repost. Then you go to sharp size. Then single compass. Basically every spell that your opponent can play. <laughs> it basically at this at this point at this point it just becomes a it just becomes a game of chess, isn't it? Like see see who who has what and what do you play around. And and because and because of that you just you just don't move and you just pass. <laughs> imagine <laughs> if in chess you would be able to pass. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, imagine that. Like, like then then not then nothing nothing actually gets done, because most players will just be afraid to move. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there there, oh, there were there were a few times I wish I wish I could pass in chess, but unfortunately we do not we do not play. Unfortunate fortunately for chess that is not allowed. <laughs> So I mean, if you could make a rule that you cannot pass consecutively, like you can pass one time, but you cannot pass twice in a row, and that would be interesting in chess. <laughs> that would be, that would certainly be interesting. Over here, uh, Gigas takes takes the aggression, and let's see and let's see if he's able if he's able to if Kaius is able to answer this. He can go for the single combat on the on the Fiora, pop the bubble, and then. And then oh, like, he can go for the single combat probably on the Shen and try to remove it. Maybe that is the play that he's heading towards because you, on one hand, you deny the Fiora one part of the level up, one kill for the level up, and at the same time, you do deal with the elephant in the room that is Shen. And I think Shen is carrying away, carrying away the Shen Fiora deck. Oh no! And instead, he he cho he chooses to sack two. Uh... Two things into into the Fiora and hope hoping hoping that he will hoping that it actually dies. However, if it doesn't die, it gets a lot scarier. Yeah, well, but, I do like but, this this play and how daring it is. It loses and it falls to more. <laughs> well, it now now he just loses because single combat into that. Yep, and we are done. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is a clear what? and the level up on the Fiora. This this is a clear level level on the Fiora and and like and just like that, Caius is out of options already unless he unless he's actually able to draw with the with the River Shaper. So let's see let's see what he draws with the River Shaper and see if he's actually able to salvage this. <laughs> that was that was super quick. He can still play to towards his late game outs because he does have Tiana in hand. He does have Rifestyle Formation in hand. So the game is not out of his grasp just yet. The only problem is that your opponent might remove your board and swing consecutive turns one after the other. And that is not going to look great. <laughs> okay, but you see, he, he wants to go into the late game. But Gigas will not let him go into the late game. So it becomes it, and by and by committing so much with with that, he actually, he's actually like. I feel I feel like I feel like he actually maybe through the game with, because he he did he didn't have enough combat tricks to actually survive through the whole thing. And it is also a combat trick fiesta when you reach that round. They both had four five uh, four five mana, four and mana. in that range you do have. Maybe two options. Yeah, like you have two options, maximum one if you go for just one concerted strike. So it is just a matter of sequencing who has what. And in that case, Gigas had the better answer to what Kaius was trying to do. But wasn't it super risky considering that Kaius actually didn't have to rush it? He could take his time. He has he's the one with the Tiana, he's the one with the bright steel formation. And like you said, he he will have the better late game. <laughs> So yeah, so maybe maybe that was a mis maybe that was a misplay on his side, like committing too too much too fast. It is also a match in which you want to demand answers from your opponent. And Gigas here offered the pass, and because he had all the combat tricks, he was inclined to do so. Now he is giving freedom. Kaius is giving freedom to Gigas in order to try to protect his units in order to put some damage on the other units. He doesn't even need to sack his Shen here. He can just nah, protect can his Fiora and that is good. He just, need, he just needs Fiora to survive and be healthy and alive. That's it. So over here, he can just... I think Shen... 
levels now if he plays the if he if he plays if he plays the bright steel protector or is it still at two? It sounds like we're trying to go for oh, a few at three. Concerted Strike and maybe back up from the Shen spell or even from the Repost. This Concerted Strike and this Fiora sh and this Fiora Little is looking like a very good option at this point. Yeah, the the concerted the concerted strike where Fiora strikes last is how is how uh, Gigas is gonna win, and it's possible that he actually just wins straight up win this turn. Yeah, he has yeah, 9 mana, which means you do have Concerted Strike and the Repost back up. You just need to watch out for Denies at this point. Yeah. So let's see Let's see how is Kaius able to actually get out of this position that he accidentally put himself in. He can try trying to kill the Shen. That is the first option he can go for. He can go for Dragon into into Sharpsight and manage the Shen, because that way even a level Shen is not going to still survive. The problem is that Gigas has barriers, and that play is going to fold, because while you do have Tiana's and while you do have Wrestle Formations, if you have no board to attack with, it's just one unit. They protect it, yeah. they protect one unit, they block, and then they attack again, and they have the wider board. Yeah, so so it, so Tiana and Bright Steel is super reliant on the on the earlier board states, right? Which which is why I guess Caius wasn't able to protect his board well enough. And would would Gigas actually go for lethal now? Because at this point he has six uh Caius has six mana up and that and I guess there may be the only thing that stops it is deny. You have seen single combats, you have seen sharp sides, so you would be inclined to try and go for it, I think, if you are Gigas in this situation, but he has been taking the safe route for this game. He is giving his opponent the opportunity to go and there so they can punish it. I do not hate that misplay, uh, th that kind of play. In fact, I emphasize it because you give your opponent the opportunity why you to What are you rushing for, right? <laughs> what, 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 what would you be rushing for when you can slowly take your time and... And the pressure is still is still insane on the side on the side of Gigas, where he is actually where his Fiora will be able to to uh, destroy your Nexus with one with one more HP, uh, with one with one more kill. Yeah, and uh, look here, you just probably shift the units with the Shen spell, put barrier on both of them, level your Shen, and try to threaten the, their opposing Shen as well. They need to answer you after the combat resolves, you can try to threaten one unit again with the Concerted Strike, and still everything is good for you. <laughs> yeah, so everything everything is in is in Gigas's favor right now, because because the Gambit that, that Kaius that Kaius played didn't play out as as intended. Yeah, definitely. And once uh, Kaius is going to reveal his hand that it is very heavy, once we see the Tiana coming down, once we see the Brestle formation going down, maybe it's going to be even easier for Gigas to yes, pick up do on it, his units. Do it! Stay united! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> let's go and then just and then just put down just put down the the Fiora the Fiora onto the Shun and just and just wait. As he needs to answer, as he needs to answer this instead, and yeah. even and even if and even if say he actually is able to answer this right, then you can then you can still go for the concerted strike later, if he so chooses to commit more than this. All right, let's see if he goes for the concerted strike. No, he passes this turn. He is still respecting his opponent. Little does he know his opponent cannot play until <laughs> turn 8 or 9 and he's just bricked on the other two cards. But of course, we do have Caster Vision. They do not have... They can just get reads by the way their opponent is playing. But I think Gigas might put his opponent on nothing. <laughs> well, open swing. Open swing. Let's go. Let's go, Gigas. Finish this once and for all. Finish okay. him. <laughs> 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 and if and if and if this gambit fails, there are still there are still other responses in the form of of course concerted strike as always. So far, it's only really just concerted strike. He's he's really waiting super patiently, trying to find trying to find the right time to concerted strike. You can even go for single combat here because you want to see side your your and not let your opponent get the final kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. 
So Caius is doing everything in his power right now to actually to actually not die. Ooh, whew. ten six, a ten six shun, guys. And that means most of the units are going to be removed from Caius's side. And if he if he decides to play Brestle formation, I think he is just giving Gigas the go to go for the concerted strike. Yeah. And judging by how Gigas has been playing so far, I think Caius kind of gets the read because that his opponent has concerted strike. He passed with a lot of mana late in the later rounds, and he represented five mana most of the time. I think you can put your opponent on concerted strike most of the time in this situation. But the but Kaios situation is not going to improve, so he decides to go for it anyway. And can you let's fit let's finish this Gigas go for the concerted strike? Do it, just do it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I uh, yes, he's he's doing it, and there's nothing and there's nothing that Kaios can do. And I think this is just two zero in Gigas's favor with. With a super with a super dominant showing by Ishkairos Gigas.